8 miljoner ton plast hamnar i haven varje år. Det här har tidigare varit rent skräp, men det svenska företaget Glentex har kommit på ett sätt att ta tillvara på den här plasten. Det öppnar möjligheter både för att tjäna pengar och för att rädda haven. Som namnet antyder kommer Glentex från Göteborg. Bolaget är en spin-off från Chalmers och det är där som EFN träffar en av grundarna. Govin Indosjordan. We work primarily with uh, nanotechnology. We work with material called graphene. We take it, we put into a little thing called a black box. That's where all the magic happens, the secret formula, the kitchen as we call it. We take it there, we uh, produce this and then we add this to that uh, plastic. Genom att minska behovet av nytillverkad plast minskar också klimatavtrycket eftersom ny plast tillverkas av fossil råvara. Problemet tidigare har varit att plast gjord på återvunnen råvara inte hållit tillräckligt hög kvalitet. Men genom att använda det ultralätta och tunna supermaterialet grafen som ett slags lim på nanonivå vill Glentex ändra på det. Generally when you improve a material property you always compromise something else and that is kind of a known trade off. It's challenging. For example if you make it stronger uh, it breaks faster. If you make it more flexible it's not strong enough. Because we are able to utilize the potential of graphene, we are able to overcome this trade-off. We are both able to improve the strength or make it stronger, but at the same time keep it flexible enough for what the industry requires. At the moment uh, we have works going on in the field of textile, we have in the field of packaging, 3D printing, um, all these areas utilize our uh, technology. De enorma mängderna plastskräp, framförallt i haven, påverkar inte bara klimatet. Det är också en annan, mer direkt påverkan på människor. Enligt Världsnaturfonden får varje människa på jorden i sig cirka 5 gram mikroplaster i veckan. Det motsvarar ungefär ett kreditkort. I takt med att medvetenheten om detta ökar, ökar även efterfrågan från industrin på lösningar. There are many companies that are extremely excited to innovate their products. Also the fact that they don't have to change much of the product line or production techniques uh, means there's a lot of companies that are excited to see this excitement behind graphene, this huge industrial interest there. And we have spoken to clients from uh, far in uh, America, all the way to Sweden, all the way to India. And we have seen that there is a great interest in working in sustainability and they're looking for partners who can help them work in the field of sustainability there. So where do you stand today? We stand today in the readiness of going out of uh, lab or research scale out more into the industry scale, uh, work with industrial partners, develop products there, show uh, develop products there or what is technically called a scaling up. Uh, so that's where we are right now. Glentex består idag av två personer, Govin Indusjordan och kollegan Andreas Lener. På kort sikt är målet att komma ut på marknaden och växa som bolag. Men på längre sikt handlar det om mer än att göra bra affärer. Long term goal, well, sustainability. That it's our goal, it should be everyone's goal. Och så var det ju det här med namnet. <laughs> so, the name Glentex was a pun uh, to begin with. We have gotten this question a lot. Uh, it was a pun uh, because Glenn is the most common name from Gothenburg and we are from Gothenburg and Tex because the first product that we looked at is in the field of textile. Um, so the first product and the name. So they went along with the name Glentex but then everything became serious and it became a real startup and the name just stuck on because people were familiarizing themselves with it.